Hi there, Laura here. Today I'm going to do my team project pan update. So this is my panning project for the year. It's a rolling project pan and it was made by the ladies from Beauty News. So that is Kirsten and Hayley and I will have their links down below so that you can go check them out and see what it's all about. And also you can use hashtag team project pan if you just want to find some other people who are doing the team project pan as well. And um, I thought I'd have a lot more empties than I have this time round, but we will see how we, what we've actually done. The first thing in my project is primer. No, it's not. It's it's actually the spray. It's this um, Mandarin Energizing Face Mist from the Body Shop that I spray on my face just before I put my primer on, just for hydrating and. It helps my foundation to go on nice and smoothly and things. And it started off way up here. The last time I was down to here. And this time I'm about here. So I used that. Let's have a look. So I used that 20 times over the last month. And the other thing I have in my project is my actual primer. Now I can't measure this because don't have any scales because I keep buying those electronic scales you know that you use um, for cooking and baking and I have really bad luck because they never work properly. Another one you couldn't the zero button you know how you keep go, you put it back to zero wouldn't work and I had to take the batteries out and put them back in to get it back to zero every time I wanted to measure something so yeah I kind of gave up on them so I don't have any now. So, so anyway, that was a really long story to tell you. I don't have any scales, can't see through the bottle, have no idea how much is in my Elf Poreless Face Primer, but I have used it, I've only used it nine times because um, I lost it for a while. I couldn't find it. I couldn't understand what had happened to it. And um, I think what happened, I found it way underneath my drawers. I think what happened, it must have got knocked off when the vacuuming was being done and um, it got pushed under the drawers. <laughs> so it took me a while to figure out what had happened to this. So I only used it nine times. So, and there's still plenty in there, so it feels heavy enough. So I will continue using that one. Now, foundation. I had the Smooth and Dewy Natural Beige Foundation, which was the lighter of the two. So last time I'd finished off the darker, no, last time I'd finished off the darker of the two, right? Last time I'd finished off the lighter one, and I had, I still don't know if I've got that up. hang on. Okay, now I know what I'm talking about. Um, so, so last time I had finished off the lighter one, and um, I had to bring in my Revolution Fast Makeup Stick in a light colour to go with the rest of the dark one. Well, I've used up all the dark one now, that's empty. Let's see if you can see how you can see that there's nothing left in there so that is empty now and I was using the stick so I used the stick the same amount of times as the foundation which I didn't have that much left so I only used it eight times so I only used this one eight times as well. So when this went in the project, it was the same length as this one. So you can see how much I used. But once I took that darker foundation out, I also took this out because I didn't need to have it in anymore. So that can go back in my cupboard. And so this is all gone and I need a replacement. So I am replacing that with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. And this one is a nude beige. Now it's really hard, and yet again, to see how much I might have in it. I have used it a bit this month already. So this month I haven't written it down because I didn't start it in the project. But I would have used it as often as I use the concealer minus how often I use that. So I can work it out, hang on a sec. So I've actually already used this 12 times this month, 
but um, I don't know where it's up to. It, it was reasonably full when I started. If I, it's going to come out if I squeeze it at all to see. I'm going to say, yeah, now that I've got it all over the place, just let me clean it off. I'm going to take a guess and say that it is, it's up to about where the, where the coloured line is there. That's going to be my guess on where we're up to so far. Judging by the feel of the bottle. So that's going to be my starting point for this month. And that's my replacement for the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. Now, for concealers. I have my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I've got a lighter one and a slightly darker one that's more my skin tone. And um, I thought I might be finished at least this one by now, but no, I'm still using it. But now, to get any out, I have to roll it up like this. So it really is right up here somewhere but I'm still getting some out so I'm leaving it in and I'm still using it and I used that 5, 10, 15, 20 times this month and same with the lighter one this one has got a little bit more in it so I still need to fold it up to get stuff out of it it's full of air at the moment so if I actually so if I take the air out you can see I can keep pushing it and not get hardly anything out so there's still a little bit more in here than there is in here and I can actually see some daylight through there if you can see that I don't know whether you can but I can see daylight through the tube. So it's getting there, but we're still going. So <laughs> I'm really getting my money's worth out of that one. Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder. Thought I might have hit pan on this. I have not. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't look much different from last time. I have been using it. How often have I used it? Let's have a look. I've used this 23 times over the last month. And I still haven't hit pan. <laughs> and the other powder that I've been using is the Revolution Baking Powder in Lace, which the writing's all wearing off of. And I thought last time I was about there and now I'm just trying to flatten it out so you can see it's hardly gone down at all this powder is going to last me forever if it's a powder that suits your skin I think you'll really get your money's worth out of this one and I have used this one 20 times over the last month and it's hardly gone down at all can't hardly notice so I had my Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray in my project and this was nearly finished last month as well. It is finished now. There's, hang on, I should put it by my microphone. There's not enough in the bottom to actually make the spray work anymore. And I used this one, I used this one 11 times, even though it sounded like there was like hardly anything in the bottom. I still got 11 more uses out of it before I couldn't use it anymore. And so altogether, for this product, I used this product 48 times from the beginning of the project before it was all run out. And that's what I forgot to do as well. I forgot to show you how many times I used the foundation before it was all run out. So this one, I used a total of 46 times on my face before there was none left. Now I was mixing this with a lighter one so it wasn't just this on its own and I had used some of it before I started and I would show you where I was up to but it's got no marks. If I can find the picture 
if I can find a picture of it from earlier on in the project, I'll show you where I started from, but um, the marks wore off. <laughs> so for my face palette, so in here I have been using the bronzer and the face powder. I haven't been using the highlighter. I've, I've used it five, six. I've used the highlighter six times, but I haven't really been concentrating that. And I haven't used the blush at all because I'm not doing the blush. The bronzer, that's the bronzer there. I used 5, 10, 15, 20 times this month. And the face powder here, which I've just been using for carving out my contour, I used 5, 10, 15, 19 times over the last month. I haven't been using this contour because I've been using something else, which we'll get to in a minute, but when I've finished that something else, then I'll switch to this one again. So that one's going quite well, I think. Got some good, good pan. Won't be long. I'm going to predict. I'm going to predict I'm going to be finished the bronzer by the end of next month. I'm going to be predicting again that I've finished this by the end of next month. I may not quite be finished the lighter one though. I feel like I'm all over the place because I just feel like I am. I, I'm not doing this in very logical order even though I've got my list and I've got it all set out in front of me and I'm still all over the place. I just haven't really been with it the last couple of weeks I have to admit. So um, I've lost it. So I used this fixing spray all up so now I need a replacement so I'm going to use my Rimmel Insta Fix and Go which I think is about up to there when I stuck it in the project earlier this month. And I have used this 12 times so far this month. Hopefully I can now go in more logical order for you so I don't forget stuff. Now, stuff I have not been using. Where is it? Here. My Maybelline tattoo in Barely Branded, I have used once, which is better than last month, which I didn't use at all. So, you know, it looks pretty much the same. <laughs> but I used it once. Still going. A lot of people have trouble with these drying out, but so far, they've done really well for me. And the glitter liner from Designer Brands, I did not use at all. So that hasn't changed from last time. It's, um, I've just have been using other stuff. It's still going, still looking good. Um, it's, it's quite subtle, so it's not a big in your face liner. I really need to swap further around on my hand because I can see it really well here. You can't see it at all. <laughs> okay, what's next? Okay, the mascara. So this is my third month with the mascara and I used it 5, 10, 15, 20, 22 times this month. So I used that lots. In theory, I should be throwing this out now after three months. I think I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer because it still seems fine. I I might use it for another month or another half month before I get rid of it. Just depends on what the formula is like, what I think. My Japanese Cherry Blossom and Strawberry Kiss from the Body Shop scent. I have used this all up. There is a teeny, tiny, tiny bit left in the bottom. But the sprayer will no longer pick it up, so I can't get it out of the bottle anymore. So I started this in the beginning of the year, it was up to here, and now it's all gone. Last time it was like down to about here, I was scraping the bare bottom of it. So I didn't think that would last very long this month anyway, but I did end up using it 13 times before it wouldn't spray out of the bottle anymore. So even that tiny bit in the bottom still lasted for another 13 sprays, so I was quite surprised. 
then to replace my fragrance, I am going to use the Body Shop stuff again. And I'm going to be using the Body Bitter in, and I was just trying to find the name, Early Harvest Raspberry. Now, there isn't that much of this one left. And when my eldest daughter was home, she used quite a lot of it. So I haven't used all this on my own. But it, it's getting a bit older now and it needs using up. Still smells really nice. It's got a very kind of fresh raspberry it's kind of scent, which I really enjoy. And I'm just going to mark the perfume bottle. And this is the perfume, and that is way up to here. So this is going to replace the other perfume that I had in, and I really like the smell of this too. So I'm going to use those as my replacements for my scent this month. And lip products. Now, my Nude by Nature sample pack, you will not be surprised to hear, I have not used at all. And one of the reasons was I've been a bit reluctant to use it because it's kind of dried out a bit now, but the ones that I'd opened definitely smell like crayons now <laughs> and they were getting kind of watery and weird and then it kind of put me off using it so I'm gonna throw this away now I'm not going to try and use the others it's going in the bin my stay matte rimmel lip color in be my baby I thought I might be finished this because I can see daylight all over the place on it there's not a lot left Know that you can see. There's not much left in there. I used it, I didn't use it that often this month actually. I only used it eight times this month because I kept doing other things. <laughs> so I probably shouldn't be surprised I hadn't finished it. But there's hardly any left. But I still haven't finished it, so I'm just going to leave it. And the lip gloss, I have used 5, 10, 15, 20 times. It's still going. So I thought I was up to about there. There's even more bits on the side. And I would say it's still up to the same place because it just keeps getting more off the side and things. So I can see through it a lot more, but I'm still getting lip gloss out of it. So still using it. And those are what I'm wearing on my lips. Day. <laughs> and now eyeshadow palettes. So the nude four from BYS. I've mostly been using this for contour and so I've been using this shade here for contouring. Oops. So I have used that one I have used some of the other colours. I've obviously used this one as well because I've got some good pan going on there. The contour shade that I've been using is nearly all gone. There's a bit at the top and a bit at the bottom left. So I still get a little bit out of there. When I've finished this one, I will switch to the face palette and use the contour out of there. And I have used some of the other colours, but I haven't used them a lot. So I haven't hit pan on anything else. But I have used that. 5, 10, 15, 16 times this month. But very often I just use this one or this one and this one because I've been using this one for just buffing out the top of the eyeshadow for blending. And the other one, the Beauty 101, I haven't used it as much this month because I've been experimenting with lots of other things. And if you've been watching any of my videos this month, you would have seen me using other things. So I only actually used it 10 times this month. But I have managed to hit a bit more pan. I um, I took out this one because that was a cream product and threw it away. I tried to take out the other cream product and it's just too tight in there. And I can't get my tool in to pry it out. So all I ended up doing was gouging holes in it. I've finished this one up now, which was the cream shimmer colour and I've made some good 
dents in the other one. Got pan on this one, which I can't remember if that was there last time or not. But I think I'm doing pretty well. So today I am wearing this colour and 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 this colour. <laughs> so I'm wearing lots of it today. <laughs> Making up for all the times I haven't been wearing it. <laughs> I've, as I said, I've tried using it as a um, bronzer and stuff, but the, the browns just aren't quite right. They're too pigmented and too sort of ready colour for, for my colouring. So that hasn't really worked. And that is my Team Project Pan update for August. So I will see you for the next update in September. So happy panning everyone and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.